Now, Mustard, security, security, we got a cold black. Okay, Nasser. Yo. Wallahi, it's been a while. I'm not like we've seen each other one time since, but. Yeah. Wallahi, it's been a. Uh, you know, a while since you've been gone in it. So, I'll tell you, baby, what's life saying, man? Life is very good, bro. I've Allah. just been working, working, working. Obviously, been uh, bachelling as well. I've been traveling. I've been I've been to different countries, actually, by the way. I've been mm. to Scotland. Um, I was what's that saying, man? Scotland. I heard a lot about Glasgow, Allah. Bro, Glasgow is a mad city, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, in general. When it comes to, for example, the city itself, mm-hmm. it's a growing city. A lot of alternatives are coming right now. So a lot of people from the Sudanese Sud- sure. background, Syrian background, Pak- Pakistanis are majority down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of money actually, but not like Leicester, obviously, because Leicester, I would say Leicester is a place where it's just the ethnic minority in Leicester actually has uh, has exceeded. There is that's English, a, that's a English population. Is this not the first yeah. city in Europe that has more ethnic minorities than actual people? Yeah, I think well, Leicester. Well, it's fact that. Well, yeah. Yeah. I think Leicester, Leicester and Bradford. Leicester and Bradford. But Leicester was the first one apparently. I think. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. And Leicester's also got the the most diverse city in in the UK, which is Swear. not road. So you got yeah, over yeah. fifty over fifty nationalities and stuff. So I would say, like, in terms of comfort zone, this is the comfort zone, isn't it? Well, I'm comfortable here, man. It's like, yeah, when yeah. I go other places, I get bare, like, uncomfortable shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I went down one time with it, bro, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I bet I felt so uncomfortable in time. Uh, yeah. It's I'm walking through time, people just look at me like... Staring. Shit, I'm thinking, mean, goddamn. damn. Bro, I'm used too. to that, bro. I'm used to that. Bro. In Scotland, is it like yeah, that? Yeah, I'm used to... No, it, it's not really like that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's actually also, like, a friendly city as well, isn't it? Yeah. So any people that come in there, they treat them well, isn't it? Like, so, of course, like... They treat you in a good way. They treat you in a good manner. They speak to you nicely, mm-hmm. but you do feel like you're you're different, definitely, because obviously you've got a different background. Yeah. Um, the accent is all. The accent is completely. <laughs> like, different. Before we move on to the yeah, serious yeah. topic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My last question is: yeah. Have you ever met a Somali with a Scottish accent before you move on? Yeah, I did, bro. It sounded disgusting. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you all so, met really want to meet from Scotland, yeah? yeah? No, but at the, the same time, bro. Stuff. At the same time, bro. Like, no, 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 like it depends who it is, though. And for example, certain people they can rock it, bro. Yeah. Well, I they can rock it. And we love it. I think it's a good thing. They can talk properly in about certain people, obviously, like, you just feel. It's the same thing with. It's just about people, innit? But I'll tell you, mm-hmm. for me personally, it's a nice accent, but it depends who speaks, innit? You know what I mean? That's yeah, it. 100. But yeah, I wanted to talk to you today about, like, do you know how, like, you have a lot of, like, businesses and stuff like that going about, inshallah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, mashallah. Yeah, yeah. Allah yeah. Allah that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I wanted to ask you, like, what are that? Like, the maddest challenge you've had while you were starting everything was flat. I would say my biggest and my my biggest motivation mm-hmm. is like pretty much the struggle that I've been through, like mm-hmm. leaving your comfort zone. So like you live you live with your family. So like yeah. I was working, I was eighteen, I was making lag and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like you know getting minimum wage, or whatever, just a little bit above, and you feel good, you're comfortable, you get a lot of money coming in. But see, when you live by yourself, it's all down to you. So yeah. literally. Everything that you get and everything, all the expenses that you have, no one's gonna help you. Yeah. So, in that sense, obviously, like you need to learn how to manage your finances. So right now, I would say I became an expert at that. Alhamdulillah, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna like. How many years I've got savings it? right now. I've got a lot of stuff. Before I was like, like messing up and stuff, overdrafts, yeah. belay, all that stuff, and yeah. obviously messing up and like my bank was going minus every single time. Mm-hmm. But obviously, I've learned a lot, and obviously that made me start a business and understand the value of money. Mm-hmm. And obviously understand on understand that you need to invest your money. You can't be just, you know, saying oh, it right money. now I feel like going to, you know, a random country or I feel like doing this, I feel like hey, buying this immediately. Mm-hmm. You more or less say, Oh, I want this, let me give myself like maybe about thirty days. If I truly want it, mm-hmm. then I buy it. If I don't want it, then obviously like that means it's just unnecessary. That's a big yeah. fact, Paula. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of stuff I've learned. I, I would I would say that in terms of um, in terms of living there, mm-hmm. uh, I would say that it's a good experience because right now I feel like I can look after a family right now because sure. I, know to, I know how to manage my finances here. Yeah, mm-hmm. Definitely, that's a that's a great step. How many years have you been in Scotland? Right now, three years, bro. Three years. Yeah, yeah. God damn, well, that's mad, well, I've had a lot of jobs there. I've got kicked out a couple of jobs. Hell of jobs. Well, I, well, I. Well, yeah. I, all nice jobs as well, well, like proper retail jobs, sports retailers. So I'm talking about JD, mm-hmm. Cruise, Foot Asylum, 
And I was about to get a job at Fossil as well. Yeah. But then obviously, like, I was coming back to Leicester, so... So I wanted to ask, okay. like, what inspired you to start, like, the Aki band? Obviously, you're wearing it right now. Yeah, 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 definitely. Rep the Aki band. Rep it all day. Yeah, so I'll, basically, Aki band itself is, like, Aki, I see myself as a brother. Mm-hmm. Um, and plus, on top of that, I like working out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've, I've worked in the retail industry. Um, mm-hmm. So I would say that I've developed my sales skills. Mm-hmm. And also, like, it was an easy setup because, obviously, like, it doesn't cost, cost that much. Mm-hmm. So I said to myself, like, let's, let, me, let me make that first investment. Yeah. Before that, I actually did start selling phones and stuff. So okay. I was selling a few phones. I was selling a few caps and stuff like P Squared and like other other brands and stuff. Mm-hmm. And on the, at the same time, obviously, like um, that's when I started. After that, I started working with Aki brand, and I said to myself, done my research. I was walking about with it. I was working out with it. People were asking me, "Oh, what's this?" You know, I can, I can recognize their name. Yeah. I can recognize their name. I know what that means and stuff. Yeah. So I was like explaining them, all right, so this is the brand I'm working on. I'm doing a bit of market research. What do you think of it? Mm-hmm. What should I improve? So I started like improving the logo. I started finding about like started finding out about who can do, who can be a graphic designer. So like mm-hmm. I had a graphic designer, one of my close friends and stuff. And then basically he designed it for me. And then obviously like, I was making a few sales and stuff. And I was like, yo, this is, this is actually working out and stuff. Yeah. And then bam, I was like, let me trademark this. So I trademarked it. How do you trade up, by the way? Uh, you know my master. That's yeah, yeah, stupid cool, questions, cool, but cool. I actually want to know. What you do is like just go on the government website, type in trademark, mm-hmm. and you have to pay a uh, what's it called? You have to pay 170, I think, 150. Okay. And what you do is like you type, you do an application, uh, okay. you send the name of the logo, you des- you send your logo, mm-hmm. and that's your sort of basically. So that actually brand is. It's legit. It's, it's legit. legit man. Yeah, yeah. Is it a one-off payment or is it? So it's a one off payment. payment yeah. And yeah. a one off payment, I think this thing lasted for about fifty years, I think. Yeah. Fifty so, years. Well you could you have to choose a what's it called? A uh, a, a, a an industry. So for example, you have to choose for example footwear, you have to choose like clothing, okay, yeah. you have to choose what's it called? Um, I don't know, cars, or you have to choose one thing. But all these other things, mm-hmm. like I would say it's a freelance, isn't it? Yeah. So, so it's not really, I've got another thing that I'm doing as well, yeah. um, what's it called, a casting job. So this is like, they tell me, for example, to work in a certain place, like do a full photo shoot, for example, mm-hmm. um, what's it called, what else? Um, they, they told me to come into like a movie. Uh, yeah. Have you heard of, uh, it's, 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 probably, it's probably not known in, uh, in, in, in England, isn't it? Yeah. It's called Guilt. Guilt? Yeah, yeah. A movie called Guilt? Yeah, it's, it's not come out yet. Yeah. But anyways, they I selected think have to Google that for us, Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google. Mm-hmm. One of the actors down there okay. actually came on Game of Thrones. Which actor? So, I don't know. I don't watch that. So they don't watch Game of Thrones? Ah, shit. Find that for us, Allah. Yeah. So, so I was like, shocked. I was like, and the pay was good as well. So I was like, bang him. What? Is there an acting role in there? or? Yeah, it's like, uh, for me personally, I see it as a side hustle and I'm not looking to do this mm-hmm. seriously. Because they selected me. Uh, they said to me, oh, we'd like to get you on and stuff. And... Yeah. And what's it called? And then I was like, cool. Like, you know, I didn't know how much money it was anyway. Yeah. And then it's they paid me a month right? later. Yeah. And I was like, I've done a two minute scene. And then, bam, I looked at the bank account, like 110 or something. Bro, I, I can't like, lie, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But like, oh, going off your point, like, you know, you said you didn't even ask for the money. Yeah, yeah. I feel like with that type of opportunity, yeah, it's yeah. like a, it's almost like a way of making connections. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't even mind if I had to do that for free because you're gonna yeah. meet people there from Game of Thrones, for example. Exactly. That's exactly. a connection yeah. that might help you with your business. Could, Imagine you could. become friends with that guy. Yeah, yeah. He knows a graphic designer that might help you. Yeah, yeah. He might even wear the top one day and then exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Boom, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, also, to start here. Do you know how yeah. we were talking about like earlier, like you living in uh, yeah. you living in Glasgow and like getting yeah. fired for all these type of jobs? Yeah, yeah. So when you were starting the business, did you look did you look at it as like you want to get that financial freedom so you don't have to work for anyone anymore? No, I want to also build a legacy as well, bro. Yeah. So I want to build a legacy so like someone that was looking for a stable job, a student mm-hmm. that was struggling financially, mm-hmm. um, that's got a background, a bit controversial, you know, mm-hmm. and also wants to like, you know, have a good future. But yeah. at the same time, um, he was looking for a stable job. Mm-hmm. It was a temporary staff. Mm-hmm. But right now, it's going to be permanently rich. Yeah. That's, the, that, that's, that's a, legacy, a story, bro. That's, that's the legacy bro. that I want to build on it. So mm-hmm. obviously... Working towards that, inshallah, and then obviously doing it the right way, and that's it. Yeah. Bro, we must. You know what it is for for like someone like me, for example. I've never really attempted to make business and stuff like that. Innit? Yeah, yeah. So when I look at people that make business, I always yeah. think like, yo, this is a bit hard to make, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, 
what like is there a lot of like steps to go through when you're making a brand or yeah. or is it like say, easy? I would say I would say some people they overcomplicate it. Yeah. And some people they over oversimplify it. Yeah. But I would say like having the right balance, like it's not something that I've rushed. Like I've mm-hmm. had several stages where I was like speaking to people. I was speaking to people that mm-hmm. I knew they were gonna say, Oh, you I knew they were gonna cast me up and mm-hmm. I spoke to people that I know for a fact that they would be like, Oh, yo, I don't like this man. Stop this like yeah. you're not gonna go anywhere, you know? Like mm-hmm. I spoke to negative people mm-hmm. and I spoke to positive people and, I, and obviously I looked at both perspectives. Yeah. So in that sense I've done my research, I've done a bit of analysis. So I said to myself then, right, it seems to be it seems to be like the people that I was expecting already to say something negatively, mm-hmm. like I took it on board. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, I'll take this, this into the yeah, criticism, yeah. I took it. But at the same time, they were coming with points, some of the points that was not relevant. Mm-hmm. That wasn't really clear as well. Yeah. So I said to myself, like, because they said that, yeah, I do want to do it, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, it's one of them. It's them ones, you know, it's them ones where like you want to prove a point as well, yeah, yeah. So you can do it. Definitely. But yeah, it's well, all about belief as well. I would it's say, about belief, yeah. It, yeah. yeah, it's about self belief. I would say one thing as well about business itself is like, it's like you have to really have capital in it. I'm yeah. not an expert. I'm not gonna say I'm an expert. In it. Yeah. But at the same time, I'll tell you that is, I'm on a journey in it right now. Yeah. Learning process, finding out about different things, and obviously like. And fact, I've never chose to start business while I've been at university because I'm on my final year right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I wasn't planning to do that. Mm-hmm. So obviously, like, it's not something that I've chosen. Something that's meant to be. Did you have someone to um, tell you know turn to when it comes to guidance? Yeah. Like in the sense of starting the business or just mentorship and you. Yeah. Did you have any mentors? Or so you, mentorship, yeah. I would say right now, is really easy to find mentorship because right now, it's just a click away from me. So like I'm talking about YouTube, I'm talking about Google, there's tons of bloggers out there that have done the same thing. Tons of YouTubers that have done the same thing. Like I would say that those people are probably um, my main mentors, I would say. But also I'd probably say my dad as well. My dad obviously like he's he's quite entrepreneurial but he's got obviously mm-hmm. seven kids. So yeah. I would say for him it's really hard to start business and stuff but he's always got that mindset of like I've got this idea, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. But it's more or less like he can't. It's not that he can't do it. It it's the means. He yeah. doesn't have the capital. He doesn't have the time. If you look at it, I was like doing research about time as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at the time that you have. For example, if you have a nine-to-five job, yeah, literally kill the time because all you got left is seven hours of your day. So yeah. imagine you work, for example, you got nine hours of sleep. Yeah. You got eight hours on top of that, and then all you're left with is seven hours. One hundred. What are you gonna do with seven hours? Food is about maybe three hours or two hours. Yeah, you're going to walk yeah. home. Yeah, walk home. Depending on the travel home Traveling, you got nothing left. Yeah. So it's really hard. I actually quit my job. Like, I was working, remember? Yeah. I quit my job to focus on my university. Mm-hmm. And at night time to focus on my business. And that's it. Oh, my God. That's hella inspirational. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that, yeah. That is real. That's you came up with your logo. The logo? Yeah. Um, the name of the logo, I'd probably say myself. Yeah. But like my sister, she helped me a lot. Yeah, my sister. It's yeah. sick because it's very like yeah. it's just simplistic, but in the sense where yeah. you know yeah. good things are yeah. like all, all the like main brands that you see, you don't see them with ninety seven stars and whatnot. It's it's more or less simplistic. Yeah. Than, yeah. You know, you know, Sometimes you simple things exactly actually yeah. work better. Yeah. Anyway. If I also yeah. want to ask you, there's... Like Apple, um, for example. So yeah. simple. It's just a bit of Apple. It's just a bit of Apple. Well, I want to ask a question, man. Like, I know it's going to be another stupid question, but I just need to know... No, nah, bro, ask me any question. Not the, the thing is, Come on. I feel like because you're the only person who's, like, who's in that situation, and like yeah. you might have an inside view that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So when I think about business, for me, most likely, my family's yeah. involved in a lot of businesses back home. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And so back home, there's not as much as regulations as there is here. So yeah. Yeah. So the one of the reasons why I've never really thought of ever making a business here yeah, yeah. is because I always, in the back of my mind, I always think like, oh, there's bare regulations. Like, for example, if you yeah, want to yeah. make a, a restaurant here, you have to get like a lease in it. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. You have health to, and safety. Health and safety and all that. Yeah. Whereas yeah. back home, yeah. can, to build some uh, place, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Exactly. Make sure you let you get Yeah, make sure you let you get But the thing is, yeah, yeah. with um, businesses here, yeah. It, like obviously, because yours is just clothing, right? And like, yeah. obviously, you try other stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. So, in your experience altogether in business, have you encountered a lot of like difficulties, regu- with regulations, Regulation. and a lot of hurdles that you had to obviously overcome? Myself, you can. Only twenty percent, bro. Is it? Some people don't. No, no. Uh, uh, I think uh, corporate tax. 
Oh, corporate tax. Yeah, corporate tax. Oh, because I've seen people that are self-employed and they have to literally calculate their taxes. Yeah, yeah. But then most people they use that like, agency and they would be like, "Yo, yeah. calculate my money for me, take yeah. a little cut, yeah, send the tax off as well, yeah, and then they keep their money." That's yeah. how they do it. Mm-hmm. But for like a business, I never knew really. This guy, is, I mean, even they walked out, he's like the expert of taxing for us. Got it? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like he's done accounting in it. He does all that inheritance tax, even all that. Economics is like accounting in it. He did that. Kind of, he did that. Yeah, cool, yeah. So he knows all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, in, so your taxes and that. Yeah. Are you on top of it, or does someone else do it for you? I would say that. But right now, yeah, I've, I've been doing that counting myself because I've studied IT and business combined. Yeah. So I know how to like calculate my what's it called my profits, my mm-hmm. my variable costs, etc. Like I know how to do my calculations. Yeah. But in terms of like right now, everything is a lot easier. You just go on a you go on an app, you go on a website, and you just type everything in it, and everything's done for you really. Yeah. Like you don't have to necessarily do everything yourself like if you know what I mean or you don't need an accountant if you're at early stage if you call it a side hustle mm-hmm. usually people don't even register because obviously like a side hustle is something you do on the side mm-hmm. and you're building something mm-hmm. and you're looking you're trying out different things you've not said like right now I'm gonna do this no matter what like you've not made a firm decision yet. it's like you're trying out different things basically mm-hmm. it's not concrete you know what uh, how long is this by the way